we can now move and look at some of the tabs that we have available to us down the left hand side of the screen here. We've already seen that by pressing the slide sorter viewer here I've got a reference of all the work that I've been building from the, the onset of this session. We've spoken about the default storage area of links slides or lessons plans as being dropped under the lessons tab. As we had a, a button on the toolbar here which releases the shapes available to me within links, I also have another access point to it here. I simply press on the tab and lo and behold those are all the shapes that I have available to me down the left hand side. Under the explore tab this is where now we have some of the onboard resources available to us within links. Under the clip art drop down here I have available to me 20,000 clip art images. So if I look at animals here and I look at birds, all my bird images will become viewable in this pane here and I can now see my bird images and by scrolling down I can select an image that I like to see and again drag and drop the image onto screen and I may need to resize depending on the resolution of the image. I have the next tab on the left hand side which allows me to search within the clip art library so if, for example if I type the word cat in my box there then lo and behold I don't have to search through the individual folders within clip art I have all the cat images available to me on this left hand side and once again drag and drop the image into the pane resize if necessary and reposition when loading up the software from onset it is possible to load the basic 4000 clip art images but if you feel you'd like the full complement clip art suite that's also possible. Under my folder here if you highlight my folder and do a right mouse click this is the space where you can add your own work so if there's a folder, a file, an image, something that you work with on a regular basis this would be your personal storage area for that information. Under the quick media folder here, this is where I start to see a lot of the third party pieces of software that we've brought into links to be used without the need to be connected to the internet. We have a third party piece of software which we've been given permission to use called Marble. It opens up and gives me the representation of the earth. I can grab the earth, spin the earth around, I can even do things like zoom in. For the geography teacher, this is a fantastic resource because it allows you to have a look around the world. Should you be lucky enough to be connected to the internet, I can then take this program one step further. For example, I could click on London and once connected to the internet, I would able, be able to see all the Wikipedia information about London. I can change the map view here if I wish to, to become the moon. This gives me all my lunar landing sites. We have a resource on board which is our clock. This I can manipulate by hand if I'm trying to do some teaching about the time. I can change the colours of the hands, the numbers, the background etc. But more importantly I can use this as a countdown timer. So for example if I was setting a 30 minute test for my children I could set the clock to count down from 30 minutes counting down to the end of the test and that would be the signal to the class that the test was over and it would be time to put your pens or pencils down. We have a full functional working chess game. I simply double click on the chess icon here and by manipulating the chess pieces I can either play against myself, an opponent or the computer. For the maths teacher I have a third party piece of software called GeoGebra and it gives me a maths plotting program so I can plot the position point to point of straight lines, it gives me my coordinates on the left hand side, I can draw circles and radiate those out and I can start to do things like draw in angles. The next onboard resource is a music orchestrating program called MuseScore. I'll double click on this icon here and it opens for me conveniently in demonstration mode. I press play. 
This is obviously something that's been pre-created. If you did want to create your own music, then you would come up here to create, go through the wizard, which allows you to choose your number of bars, your time signature, um, choose from a selection of up to 500 instruments, then go to this section here, which allows you to drop your notes into the appropriate position. So for the music teacher, this is an invaluable resource as it allows you to create music in real time or to create it at your own leisure and then save it as your own piece of work. Moving on, we've got access once again from this section called Cam Studio. This is our um, record and playback feature. We've got access once again to our calculator from this point. If we did wish to go off to the internet, we can press this button here and it would go off to our default selected internet page. And the last piece of software in this section is called Word Search. It allows me to create my own word search. What I would simply do if it was, say, animals, type in my animal names. And depending on how many names you have in there, you may want to select Auto Enlarge here. And what it simply does is it creates a word search for you. You would then print this out. It prints out onto A4 paper and pass the papers to your students to search for the words. But of course, you might want to create a last um, A4 sheet for the teacher's benefit, which actually shows where the words are. That's what we have available to us under the quick media folder here. The folder at the top here demonstrates the possibility for us to add flash files. So what I'm going to do, there are just some examples here of flash files. So I simply grab and drop a flash file here. This is a simple reveal curtain. If you did want to insert your own flash files at this point, you simply highlight the word flash, do a right mouse click, and then add your file a folder from this point here. And if you are connected to the internet, you have the ability to go off to Google search, type in the image that you're looking for, and all the images would drop into this pane here. And you have the ability here to either sort those images in a moderate or strict format. The last tab on the left hand side here is concerned with online resources. If you are used to using websites on a regular basis as part of your teaching program, then it is possible to add shortcuts to your favorite websites in this section here. Once again, the method to do that is to perform a right mouse click and add your new shortcut and name address in this section here. I'm now going to show you how we work outside of links with the remote control handset. Obviously at some point you're going to be wanting to work with um, other applications and you may want to do things like annotate on top of them.